A vicious dog attack in Adams County has its rural residents on alert. Good evening, everyone. I'm Susan Simon. Eric is off tonight. The attack happened last Tuesday afternoon in Grand Marsh, just southeast of Adams. News 3's Mark Lovacott was there and joins us now with the story, Mark. Susan, the victim in this attack says she's afraid to go outside now because of what happened to her. She hopes to warn others that some very dangerous dogs might be on the loose. It's a story that's only on News 3. And they got within about 45, 50 feet of me, and I, I threw my hand up, and I says, go home. It was a stern warning that seemed to have little effect. Nearly a week ago, Carrie Geetson found herself just a few feet from her home being mauled by two dogs. It, it come at me. I threw my hand up like this, and it grabbed my hand, and that was the initial attack, and he ripped the skin back. She says she's never seen the dogs before. And the black one grabbed this hand and she hopes to never see them again. And they kept attacking my arms and uh, my legs while I was down there, and I knew they were trying to get me down, and I knew I was going to be in trouble. Geetson will literally be scarred for life. You know, the big concern is, is not just what the, they did to this lady, but to anybody else that uh, might be victims of dogs like that. Adams County Sheriff Daryl Renner tells News 3 he's doing all he can to get to the bottom of what happened last Tuesday afternoon. A cage is now in place to try and trap at least one of the dogs. Deputies have also visited nearly 60 homes in the area looking for clues and warning residents. So far, the dogs are nowhere to be found. I step out the door and that's, you know, I'm looking before I get away from the door too far. Geetson says she's lucky to be alive and thinks twice before she leaves her home now. She also worries about who could become the next victim. You know, I mean, there's kids waiting for the school bus you know, in the morning and, and uh, getting off the school bus at night. There's people starting to do their yard work and stuff during the day. Geetson says it took her ex-husband shooting his rifle in the air to get the dogs to let go of her. And for that reason, they're thinking the dogs were scared off and likely won't return. The worry, though, is for others who might come across the dogs. They're described as a white pit bull boxer mix and a black German shepherd lab mix. If you see a dog matching those descriptions in the Adams County area, you're asked to stay away. And, of course, call 911 so police can at least track them down. The worry is that one may have rabies. Mm -hmm. She's going through rabies treatments right now, but they really want to find out what's going on with these animals. Call 911. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Mark Lovacott reporting. Thanks, Mark. You bet.